Hello and welcome. Raspbian GC Lite is the minimal image based on Debian GC. It will be a perfect uh, solution if you don't need the GUI environment. And if you want to use a headless Raspberry Pi with WPA supplicant, you can uh, connect it to the network and run applications or use it as a web server. Here I have a Raspberry Pi 0W and I will use it to run a simple Python application with 128 by 64 OLED display. From the Raspberry Pi website, I have downloaded the image and it's around 300 megabytes. Using Etcher, I have flushed it into SD card. Here, 2 gigabyte is enough if you are using it for simple application uh, because the operating system will get 1.3 gigabyte of the card. But if you need more storage, I think uh, 4 gigabyte SD card will be more than enough. Now it's finished uh, flushing the image, take the SD card and insert it into the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi will finish installation and resize the SD card and after that it will boot. Uh, then the login screen with the default login user Pi and password Raspberry. That's all to install it, now let's configure some options run sudo raspberry-config uh, this is uh, the configuration tool for the raspberry pi you can change uh, the default password from here uh, first I'll, I'd like to change the boot option to uh, console auto login and uh, from here I'll change the host name to recognize the pi over the network I'll uh, change it to light pi then uh, change the keyboard layout to match your physical keyboard layout here I changed it to a US keyboard layout you can change the setting according whatever keyboard you have for interfacing options I'll enable uh, the SSH uh, server to, to access the buy over uh, devices on the network and the uh, uh, R2C because my application uses uh, R2C to connect my OLED display fin finally choose finish and the buy will reboot and uh, the new configuration will take place almost done the last step here is to uh, set up a wireless connection I know my network SSID and password uh, so I write sudo su and write this line this will append the Wi-Fi SSID and the password to the WPA supplicant configuration file after that I reboot the Pi now the Raspberry Pi is connected to the network and this is the IP address now you can run sudo apt-get update to update uh, the operating system Uh, then you can apt get and install whatever you want from now on you don't need the monitor anymore just plug the buy to the power and you can ssh uh, to it from any device on the network i'm here on windows 10 i'm using body and the host name is buy at light by the local and open the, now the new password is the default password because i didn't change it in the raspberry pi configuration and you are logged in I'm using WinSSB to copy files from uh, my Windows PC here is the setting it's very easy just uh, add uh, the IP address or the host name the username by and the password again is uh, Raspberry you can easily drag and drop uh, files into your boy Back to the buy itself, I'll connect the OLED display to the GPIOs and run uh, the code I've just copied. More detail about this project will be in future video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to know uh, more about it. 
Also, I'm giving away a Raspberry Pi Zero wireless. Check this card to enter. It will end April 20th. If you missed it, there will be more uh, giveaways in the future. If you have any question, post it in a comment below. Thanks for watching. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike. Here is uh, more videos to watch. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, hit this uh, subscribe button. Uh, have a great day and I'll see you next time.